Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And there's his brother. I have saved you, young sire. Where'd you go? Thank you, thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those those friends. Uh, for fiends, whatever they are. They're not friends, they're fiends. Hello, my lords and ladies. I'm Pitch Doc, and welcome to a new game series. Uh, this is Mountain Blade Warband. I I've been wanting to do this for a while now. This is a great game. I if you haven't played this game before, so it's it's basically it's a sandbox um, game that you. It's an action game, but it's also a strat strategy game. Um, it's just a lot to it. So you basically start off by creating your character. Um, you have like a backstory and all that stuff and you just start off with basically nothing and you can play any way you want. I could be a mercenary, I could be uh, uh, an outlaw, I could try to join one of the many factions that are in the game um, and try to raise, raise in ranks and, and everything and it's cool because you have on-field battles, you have castle sieges, uh, it's pretty awesome, and and there is going to be a new one called uh, Mountain Blade, uh, I think Banner Lord. No idea when it's coming on. I know they're making it. Uh, it's still, I think it's still up in the air, like a to be determined uh, day, but or or date, I should say. <laughs> um, so I'm really looking forward to that. So I I figured, why not? I'll 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 try this series. If you do like it, please you know hit the like button and, and to subscribe uh, and comment that you know if you like it or not, uh, because I I really want to. Um, I really want to play games that you guys want to see, but also um, games that I, I think you'll enjoy. And what and what's great about this game too is that there's a lot of mods and and not just not mods that actually make the game look good. Like there's a um, like a Lord of the Rings kind of mod where it changes the whole map and everything. Um, there's one for Game of Thrones and, and it's just it's like it redo it, they redo the whole game and it's like the complete map of of you know lord of the rings and of game of thrones and everything it's, it's pretty amazing um but i figured we'll start off with the basic game and see what we do with it so let's see we're gonna start a new game welcome adventurer to mountain blade warband before beginning the game you must create a character remember that in tradition of medieval society dick dick dick, 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 dick oh my god oh man i can't even read all right Welcome, adventurer, to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of nobility. Boo! Sorry, ladies. <laughs> that does not mean how does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier stop, but women and commoners can attain all the same goals, and in fact may have much more interesting and if more challenging early game and it's true so i've i've played as a female character before and they really treat you like like shit man like really bad um but you can you can raise up and rank and and dominate just like just like any other character um so we're going to continue on so i'm gonna i am gonna play as a male though um just because it's gonna be a little bit easier i haven't played this in a while um so I just don't want to uh, start off looking horribly bad. <laughs> so you were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was, and you can pick basically who your dad was. So if I say he was an impoverished noble, you start off with a little bit better equipment. Um, I think I'm going to start off as um, a veteran warrior. As a child, your family scrabbled out of meager living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets or without a weapon in your hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as, and then, you know, what What did, was I an archant? So you can pick what you want. So let's see. Let's do... Um, a craftsman apprentice. 
As a boy growing up in a childhood, you, you apprenticed with the local craftsman to learn a trade. After years of hard work and study under your new master, you, you promoted you to journeyman and, you, and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wished to stay. Then as a young adult, life changed as it always does and you became... And what did I become? I can be a game coach, I can be a squire, troubadour, I'm not quite sure what that is. <laughs> a student, goods peddler, a smith. Um, hmm. let's see, let's go with Squire. Through the distinction felt suddenly to you, somewhere along the way you became a man. Finally, yeah, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named Squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to to the to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. So a vassal is basically, um, you know, if if I join a faction and I, I join, you know, the king, I can become a vassal to that kingdom. But in addition to learning the chivalric, chivalric I guess, ideal, you also learn about the less uplifting side, old warrior stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals and usurpation of men who use guile as well as vile to achieve their aim. So, I mean, basically, I could just start off and just start attacking kingdoms and just be ruthless if I really wanted to. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take on this decision? So what made me do this? So I could say, you know, it was personal revenge, loss of a loved one, wonderlust, being forced out of my home, lust for money and power. Um... Let's say loss of a loved one. Only knew exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. All you can say is that you couldn't bear this day, not with the memories of those you loved or close to close and so painful. Perhaps your new life will let you forget or honor the name that you can no longer bear to speak. All right, so I'm gonna become an adventurer and ride to my destiny. Okay, so. Basically, what this is asking me is, is do I want to be able to save without quitting or can't save at all? So I'm going to do real estate. So no matter what happens, happens. If if I die and get captured, I die and get captured. Um, it's I mean, it's not hardcore. I, you don't permanently die in the game, but you lose. You do lose everything. So I, if I have a major army with me and I die and get captured, bye bye army. It's gone. All right. So now we're going to do a name. All right, what should our name be? Um, I usually go with Loxley. Oops, that's with an L by the way, there we go. All right, so now attributes. So depending on what you what you do, so, so power strike, power draw, and power throw. So basically sword, pulling back the bow, and throwing javelins. Um, agility for horse riding, looting, um, using the shield, intelligence for things like engineering, um, tracking, inventory management, um, leadership, things like that. And then charisma, oh, actually charisma is leadership, prisoner management. And I'll, I'll explain these as we go, what they mean. So for now, I'm going to focus on um, basically fighting abilities. And what's going to probably be useful in the field. I would do a little one more. In it. We'll do one in intelligence. All right. So I have six points to choose from. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to start off with weapons. So that's where it becomes a little, little weird. So let's see. We we'll do iron flesh, um, power strike, and I'm going to do power. Oh, it's not giving me any trust. I don't know if I'll start off with a bow. The bows in this game are really hard. Um, I mean, they're, they're they're great when you get a hit; it's a good hit, but it it can until you get better skilled at it, it's pretty difficult. But I'm gonna put one in there anyways, and then I'm gonna put everything into. So I got pole arms, which is pretty high, but I don't know if I'm gonna start off with a pole arm. So I'm gonna. Put in 
kind of not equal, but kind of keep them kind of keep it together. And I get oh, I get three more to choose here. Um, let's see, probably. So I can't raise leadership anymore. So leadership will allow me to have more, uh, more troops and things like that. Um, training, training is important. Because as you recruit members and they fight and you travel, you also train them. I'm gonna add one to shield, and uh, I'll just throw another one in power draw. Okay, so now we gotta do our character's face. <laughs> let's see. Let's randomize this. The eyes in this game are so odd. <laughs> All right, he looks he looks kind of cool. All right, we'll we'll keep him, and uh, we'll go younger. We'll keep the hair color. Yeah, that's fine. It does, really doesn't matter. All right, so now you hear about Caradia. So Caradia is the land in, that all this takes place. It's a land torn between rival kingdoms battling for others, battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds greater dangers, or great dangers, or even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that, finally, you hold the key to your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will. And that, whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Caradia and its kingdoms. You, and then I can decide what kingdom I want to start off in. So, I'm going to start off in Swadia. I... I feel it's a little bit easier start, um, but each of these comes, they're like in a different part of the map, different climate in, in a way. Um, so like the nodes are up in the, you know, the, the colder section of the map. Um, and each kingdom has diff different warriors that are better at different things. So Swadian knights are better than any other knights. And then I think it's the nodes that are better at um hand-to-hand -hand combat and um the rod rod dot rod ox i think are better at, with archery or something like that so uh but we're gonna start off here all right you came by caravan through the heartland of caradia green shoots of wheat barley and oak and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass Occasionally, too, you catch the sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the Swadian nobility. The land, here, it, the land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness. You keep a wide berth of the forest where desperate men have taken refuge, and it is, and it is some point, no, what am I doing? It is some relief when you crest the ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven. Its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. All right, so Praven is basically the, the capital of Swadia. You're exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore the surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which you are still deserted, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands on the hairs on the back of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. So basically, we start off, we're going to be attacked. So let's see what we have for weapons. Hopefully we have something pretty decent. A crossbow. And... That's it. Oh, okay, there's our sword. All right. Let's see. And then you got to... Yeah, you got to load it. Can be pretty unforgiving. I gotta remember exactly how to. There we go. All right, we did it. <laughs> so the way you fight too is that you go by the direction. So when I like move my mouse to the right, I slash that way, this way. 
down as a stab up his overhead. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. <laughs> That's one less, thief, one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although, hev heaven knows we won't... He won't laugh. Oh my god. You know, I can read. I really can. I, I don't know why I'm kind of... I'm trying to rush through this, I guess. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although, heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to um, do more voice acting. <laughs> that slows me down. So the merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door and for a while checking the street and then finally convince you you have not been followed. Comes near you to speak. Yeah, I think that's better. I think we'll do that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk to uh, the Merchant of Craven, which I think is... There we go. Now, let me explain my proposition. We, so, we always have brigands in the hill, driven by banditry, by war, depth, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for an unwary prey. The Watch Commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep on <laughs> keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them to enter unnoticed and helps them to identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prominent house out alone after dark in times like these? Huh. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here. And didn't know how bad things have become. He too had he had no excuse. But his family, so what can you do? But he's family, so what can you do? Maybe it doesn't help. <laughs> if you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either. And I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about, the, about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you had a bit of experience with the blade, and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly so you wouldn't be coming to Caridia to seek your fortune. So here's what I am asking. Gather a small party, track down these bandits in their lair, teach them a lesson, they won't forget and get my brother back. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? So we can we can choose not to do this if we want to, but we're going to do it because it is kind of an interesting... It's almost like this is almost like the tutorial. Um. So then he goes, you won't be able to do this yourself. If you try to take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant. You'll... You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work. That's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay, so take this purse of 100 dinars. Consider it as an advance on your reward. Go around to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you'll need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. <laughs> I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Okay. So good. You can find me a group of tavern. You can find me a group. You can find. Oh God. You can find me again in the tavern here in Praven after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what to do next. Okay. So basically, it's my first quest. Um, you do get quests in the game when you talk to different NPCs. Um, you can do them if you want. Don't need to. Um, so we're gonna collect five men, and. Um, be able to um, help his brother. So basically, this is the map, okay? And it's 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 huge. Yeah, that's what she said. So you can go to anywhere in this map, all right? And you got to watch out though. So see these eluders right here? They're patrolling. Um, so we're gonna head here. And so this is a village that's a village of Privia, and we're gonna. Recruit some villagers. Okay, so four want to follow me. We'll recruit them. And let's see. Where do we want to go? We'll go to uh, Linda.
Oh, we got looters there. We're gonna recruit some villages. All right. So we should have our five. Um, let's see. All right. So once we got them, got those five, we can go back. Now we can. Basically, I can attack them if I want to, which I will. So you see, they're running away from me. And you can see. So I hit space bar pauses it. So you see, they're running from me because they know that I have more people than they do. What do you want? Surrender or die. As you wish, prepare to die. So once we do this, we'll be on the battlefield. Now on the battlefield, I can do I can order my troops, um, depending if they're archers and stuff like that. But right now, we just have um, we have recruits. So we're gonna charge the enemy. You can see they're pretty basic. Nothing about them that's special, you know. But we have ten of them versus their six. So hopefully we can we can take them on. No, but eventually as we get a bigger, bigger army, we have archers and we have um, foot soldiers and and knights and things like that. We can take a more strategic approach. But right now, just kind of running into battle works. That's, yeah, it's a bad shot. It's really hard to figure out these angles. Oops. So right now, they like throwing rocks at us. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go charge in on my horse. And I miss. Yeah, I got you. Right, took him out. Alright, yeah, we won. Uh, huzzah! Okay, so <laughs> hit tab to leave. And now. This is our basically our battery report. So we lost two recruits, um, but we, we killed all the looters. Now, they didn't have anything. Usually you get stuff, but so now that they got some experience, I can re, I can increase them. So I'm going to upgrade them to militia. And that's what they look like now. Oh, here we go. So now we get different. We're going to loot them. We have different weapons. So I can look and see. Okay, I have a rusty sword. Uh, let's see, swing is 24, thrust is 19. So this swing is 30, but I have no, no thrust. Might not be bad, but I, I think I'm going to skip that. I'll just throw that in my inventory. We can sell it. How do I, there oh, we go. All right, so I can also look and see what's better for the, for this. So this is a little bit better on body armor, but... I do get some leg armor in that, so I'm just not going to bother with that. I'll take the hat, though. And stones, not really. So we'll just take the rest of it, and we can sell it when we get to uh, one of the major cities. So one of the things we need, too, is that we need food. So once we start recruiting people, you need to feed them. So one of the things we'll get once we get back to prayer into some food. So now we're going to go to the tavern because that's where he said he was going to be. And you can also just walk around the, the whole city too if you wanted to and not just go from place to place. But this is usually better. All right. Splendid work. You've hired enough men to take on those bandits. Now travelers entering Praven have told us that there's a small group of robbers lurking from on the outside of the town. I suspect that they are all from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them, and make them disclose the location of their lair. Very well, I should hunt down the bandits. Okay. So we're going to leave, and actually before we do that, let's go to the marketplace and go to the goods merchant, and we'll just grab some yeah, grab some dry beef, just, just in case. Alright, let's go. Those are the robbers. Let's go attack them. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep the prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha! Those prisoners were only going to go free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. <laughs> Alright, so we got eight against their four. We're going to charge this. Charge them. Alright, 
So you can see him off in the distance. So they're not going to have any real... Like, really... Bad weapons, so... I'm going to go in and charge. Try to keep my, um... Casualties down a little bit. Oh, that guy has an axe. Hey, he's pretty good. Not good enough, though. Oh, that was the leader. Oh, no, it's his looter. Okay. Oops, missed. He's throwing rocks at me. I missed again. I think they, they got him. Yeah, alright, so we won. Okay, no casualties. Ah, uh, spare me. Spare my life. Let me go and I'll go far away from here. And learn on uh, learn an honest trade and never hear from me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange I want information. Either you or your mates kidnap the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him. And give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts and you can go free. Oh, bless you, kind sir. Bless you. <laughs> you've, you've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our hideout near Asgard. I'll describe the area nearby in detail so there's no mistaking it. Okay. So we get two more war upgrade. Uh, one more. Oh, I don't have any money. Do I have any money? Is that what it is? Not enough money. Okay. I guess I shouldn't have bought that food because I probably didn't really need to do it right now, but no big deal. Okay, so... That's where the hideout is. So we'll just go here and we'll go to the marketplace. And we'll just sell this stuff. Oh, we had smoked fish. That was nice of them to start me off with good food. That's okay. We're going to end up needing it because this doesn't really go bad. So. All right, let's go attack the hideout now. There we go. You approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could still sneak away unnoticed. The difficult approach to the site down a narrow defile means the only, ha only handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack, and they will be unable to bring their horses. If, you, if the initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another occasion? We'll attack it. I, don't, I really don't think you get a better occasion anyway, so. We'll go on. We pretty much have everybody. So there's the campsite. I don't know where they're all going. Oh, they know something I don't. I think there's other oh, there. I think there's a way to check on the map where the enemy is, but I, I don't remember how to do that yet. Let's try a crossbow. Hey, you took him out. Single handily, nice. Completely missed. I'm not being very helpful in this attack. <laughs> oh no. You didn't, bastard. Killed my man. Who are you all looking at? Is there somebody over here? They're interested in something. Oh, I see them up there. So it's like a real crossbow. Like you have to kind of stand and 
Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And there's his brother. I have saved you, young sire. Where'd you go? Thank you, thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those those friends. Ah, uh, oh, fiends, whatever they are. They're not friends, they're fiends. Did my brother and Praven put you onto their track? Yes, I told them that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can. Be careful on the road. Like, why we wouldn't just have them travel with us? I don't know, but... With their retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attacks. Their hideout and ill-gotten gains is not yours. All right, so we got some, some stuff. Uh, not better than what I'm wearing, and that's one of the things when you start off with better. Actually, that's probably better than what I got. Uh, I don't know. The lake protection does does help though, so maybe maybe not. Yeah, it looks better. But we can sell all this stuff and make a profit. Yes, plus four, yeah. All right, cool. All right, so let's head back to Praven. And back to the tavern. And don't lock it. All right. Well, my brother is home safe, and I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university outside of Calradia. That way, if he gets knocked on the head in a street brawl, no one can say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It was well earned. The money is most welcome, and I am glad to have been of service. Good. Now you're interested in making more. Possibly. What do you need? Okay. Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities and of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. As a consequence, it seems our captain turned to villainy. To recoup his fortune, I suppose I'd do the same if, the heavens forbid, I ever face the indebtedness and ru ruination. ruination. Now, any watch captain worthy his salary would have a few thieves and robbers in his payroll to inform on the rest, but our captain decided to employ these bastards wholesale, he brings them into town, lets them do as they will, and takes a takes a share of their take. You've heard of poachers turning gamekeepers. Well, in the unfortunate land of Calradia, sometimes the gamekeepers will turn poachers. Luckily, there's a few brave there are a few brave honest souls in the watch who have told me how he works. Okay, so basically, <laughs> I don't want to read all this. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, he wants us to. Um, Take some of his men and fight off these bandits. And it's probably not going to be something that the the king's going to be happy. The king's going to be happy about. But his captain of the guard is is doing something dishonest. So he wants me to lead his army, which I will do. Okay, and then I'll tell him to give me the sign, and we will go and fight. So these are the, these are the men. Oh. It's time, lads. Up and at them. Shot on him. Oh! Damn it. Ooh, that was a powerful shot. Oh, I'm 
a little bit of trouble here. That's it. All right, good. <laughs> that was close. The remaining few bandits scattered off the town's narrow alleys, and they only to be hunted down one by one by the angry town folks, making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of. And the merchant head of his house to review the day's event. Or head to the merchant, whatever. Okay, so we go to his house, and he's probably going to be a little mad because most of his guys died. Fortunately, about 12 of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look on them, blah, 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 blah. But... We saved the town from the bandits. Um, let every villain learn the fear of the name Loxley. Yes, yes, yes. Now a couple of my boys, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, that pretty much ends. That's kind of like the tutorial of the game. Um, and we can pretty much go anywhere we want now. Um, so I'm going to end this episode here. But what we're going to do on the next episode is we'll go around. We'll recruit some more. Um, and we'll talk to some of the people uh, within Swadia. Try to get better renown with them. Uh, maybe do some quests for them. And what I want to do is, is try to become a vassal of Swadia. Um, which means that we will have to fight their enemies. So in real time, these all these factions can go to war with each other. Um, so if we are... A vassal of Swadia, and we go to war with the Rodanox down here. Uh, they will attack us, so get to choose wisely. But you know, and, you, and there's there's just a lot to it. You can look at these reports. You can look at you know faction relations, and um, you know see who's so they're all different to me right now. But you can also see who's who's fighting who and all kinds of stuff. So it does get pretty. Um, can get pretty involved but that's part of the fun of it as well so um so i'm gonna i am gonna end the episode here it was kind of long um but i just wanted to get through the whole beginning part of the tutorial uh if you do like this if you do want to see more of this please let me know um it does get a lot better uh, with the bigger battles and um when you start taking over castles and and i mean it's it's pretty pretty awesome so um so if you do like this please remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always, I'll see you next time.